Hi guys, this is Ken Ugert, Department of Education for West Virginia. This will be video 16. This is going to deal with mass updating of schedules, mass creation of schedules in controls, in your control system. Again, I'm not doing the back net stuff. This is just the typical native Andover or Snyder control system on the uh, continuum system so if you have back net questions I'm I'm not your guy for that but anyway over the holiday and this is the first close to the first of January um, I dealt with some schools that had a significant number of different schedules for the rooftop units and all you know 10 or 12 schedules for a site so to schedule to put in the new yearly schedule of holidays and such it was quite quite cumbersome and uh, I know there's a mass update feature on the schedule of these things so I wanted to show you how the how that worked I have a site here that has it doesn't have too many schedules but we'll say that the, let's look at the workroom first just show you that there's nothing there right now there's no holiday schedules and the daily schedule is 530 to 245 and that's that's every day of the week weekdays so there's nothing grand about this so it's not set up as you would a typical uh, schedule the configuration is that it these are the points that it controls workroom occupied and off time is workroom off and on time is workroom on okay so that's the one we are going to change so we'll cancel that one or just okay that say you have a master schedule we'll use the classroom as our master schedule after you go through and set all the holidays throughout your year as as this person has done on this school for this one schedule for the classroom schedule they've not I guess they've not completed the rest of the year maybe they don't have it for the September because our, our school year ends on July 1st so they they probably didn't know what the holidays were after that so anyway the this controls a separate set of points classroom off occupied classrooms on classrooms off okay this does not change when you do this mass update but to do a mass update it's not there's there's no tabs here for you to to get to the way you get to this is you go to the copy you're going to copy this schedule to another schedule all right so it brings up this box over here we'll get to mass create here in a second but what generally what you're going to do if you have existing schedules that you want to to uh, make identical to a, another schedule, the master schedule, you will click this mass change tab. Okay. If you know which schedule you want, you can type it in here, but you have to know exactly what it is. If you don't know it, that's an asterisk right there. If you can't see it, so it's a star. It's a star. So it's a it says show me all of them if you do a search it'll bring up all your schedules now the one I want to change you can pick a bunch of these by holding down clicking them and shift with the shift key and you can you can you can click that one and a shift and it selects a whole bunch of them or you can with your mouse key and hold down the control key 
it'll do individual ones just like anything else on this all right so you you can do all these as a group or individual but what I want I want this one workroom just cuz that's one we're experimenting with so I want that one it's highlighted if you had others highlighted the same changes would be made to those that are highlighted but you highlight it and you push this update I'll move this here if you push update you will see that this now says succeeded uh, make it bigger succeeded anyway succeeded so when you update it and if something were to go wrong it would not say succeeded you'd have to do it differently I guess but anyway alright now let's go back and look at the workroom schedule as you can see it now has the same holidays and events scheduled that the classroom the master schedule that we just had you can pick any of these as your master as your master schedule but and what it does it changes all the holidays to, to these, these exception days are going to be exactly the same as what you had in your other schedule the other the thing that is probably problematic for you guys is that the standard day the weekly day also changes so those were uh, what 2 30 p.m. to 5 something I forget what they were but these are the exactly these are the exactly start stop times of the classroom schedules now so not only does it do the holidays it does also the weekly schedules so those change so that I don't know of a way to only do these or only do the the schedule the weekday schedules it's kind of all or nothing as you can see it did not turn change these points in your configuration so it's still going to control the same points that it did before but it it did change the holidays to match the classrooms so there's 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 good and bad in that if you have your holidays are generally going to be the same for all your units but your schedules may not be so you have to decide is it worth it to go back and change the weekday schedules on everything that is different or is it easier to go through and put all the yearly dates in here so that's that's one thing okay now the other thing let's go back to classrooms that's going to be what I call a master schedule just because it is alright here's my master schedule the classroom schedule the other tab is mass create and I don't expect you guys to have much use for this uh, some other some of you guys might have a reason to do this but say you have controllers out there that you want to have a controller uh, a schedule in now the typically the way we do it the way you have it in most of West Virginia schools is that the schedules are all kept in the net controller doesn't have to be it's just where we typically put them there are typically no schedules in the equipment themselves you can see there's no schedules tab here on RTU1 or RTU2 or whatever. 
so there's nothing there this mass update what it does it puts it puts this schedule in each of these in any of the any the equipment or any of the controllers that you select so let's do RT1 for the, for this you know, just to show you what it does what it does is you mass create and when you do a search here it's going to bring up all the controllers on your network as you can see we have here's a school here's a school and here's a school I'm going to put it in again you can select one by holding the control key down with and selecting with your mouse you can have however many or whatever group you want or you can with your shift key hold it down and click and you just get a group of them I however only want this one I just want this one to show you what it's doing so what I'm saying here is copy this schedule along with its points that are configured see it has classroom on classroom off those are date time points this occupancy point is a numeric what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to copy these points in the right folders and it's going to copy the schedule with all its dates holiday dates and standard dates standard times there too so it's going to move the whole thing there and create these points so it's going to go like that so now we will I want it to go to RT1 and if you do a populate it's going to come up success up here or succeeded when it's finished alright so now if we go back to the to this here's our tree there's no schedules because I haven't updated or, or refreshed it if I refresh this and I go back now I have schedule it was named the same way if I open it it's going to have the exact exception days it's going to have the same weekday schedule it has created these points if you go to date time it created these two points and it created classroom occupancy classrooms occupied they created it see it's 114 at this date 14 so it does all that it is then up to you to link if you want to use a schedule for something to program the appropriate thing that you know based upon this point if it's on or off it tells something in that controller to do something so rather than having it in the net controller you can put all these in the individual rooftops there's no benefit to it uh, it's just however you want to program it to do that I've never done it that way. There's doesn't mean you can't do it that way, but uh, I just haven't had a good reason to do that. But I just wanted to let you know that that is available. There are there are mass updates. So when you start doing your annual, you know, when you start putting your yearly work years worth of holiday dates and you got a bunch of schedules see this school has if we go to the schedules it has a whole mess of schedules so to do do the annual schedules and all these what 16 different schedules that would take some time however it's going to take some time anyway because if the 
weekly schedules different in these that you want to change they're all going to be the same as your master schedule then you're going to have to go back and change the mass the, the weekly weekday normal weekday schedule or start stop times for each one of them that's that's not what you want or that are different than what that master schedule was going to be so but it would save time that you didn't have to go through and check check all the yearly holidays and events okay so anyway that's that's how that works if you have any questions let me know uh, again this is Ken Ugert West Virginia Department of Education thanks